Okay, so let's try some quantizing. Let's just have a quick listen to the performance here. Move that body. Move it like you mean it. I want to quantize the horns, the ba 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 part, right? So now I can do it very simply because I know the rhythm of what I want here. I want eighth notes. So it's ba ba ba. Now, I can just straight up quantize this by going quantize and eighth notes, and I should have more or less exactly what I want. Okay, looks all right. And this one. So you see there's some extra lines here that I don't need. And I know that will probably make the quantize a bit strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the flex marker and reduce it there. That's gone. Let's reduce some more, some more, some more, some more. I can see, I saw a guy there. Yep, it's gone. Let's have a look. Okay, most of the quantize markers, maybe still a few more. They look gone. Okay, now once I've got the right amount of quantize markers, I just go quantize, eighth note, bam. Okay, so this one's a bit off, so I'm going to create one, bring it back. This one is right, but I'm still going to just put one in there, so it's very clear. Okay, see up here? And did the eighth notes? I didn't do the. I didn't do the reduction of of flex markers on that. So let's see. Did that create any? Yes, markers been created here. So when you see the line, it means a mark is there. If it's dotted line, it means a marker can be there. So line. So I'm removing the flex markers here because it stretches the audio, right? And I don't want everything to be so stretched. I want that note to sound natural. And for quite a few performances, you can just use the quantize function and set it to 16th note, 32 notes, or whatever you want it to be, and it will do a great job. So let's check. just need to double click it's to get rid of a, of a marker. Yeah, so it's more or less all correct. There's two other techniques of quantizing. So I know I want it to be quantized to this grid. But first of all, there's too many flex markers here. So you can make something a groove template. So this is the groove template. And let's say I want all of this audio to sync up to this one. Now, it's not going to work so well if you have too many markers because it's going to get confused about which marker to put it on the grid and to copy of this one. So my first step would actually be to reduce the markers. So I'll go all the way to zero first. I'll drop the markers to zero. Just keep clicking. Okay, it's looking a bit zero-y. Just increase the screen space here. Okay, then I'll add markers. Okay, that. Maybe just a few more. Okay, that's enough. 
And what I'll do is I'll quantize. Let's see how it does on quantizing to 16th notes. So I'll just solo this. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty good quantization of the performance. Just having a look at the markers here. That's one good option. Another is to follow the reference file. Let's hear that. Okay, I can hear that's a bit jaggedy and it's not exactly representing this piece. In fact, the 16th was probably a bit better. Yeah, so if you want that technique of following the groove template to work, the best way for it to work is you actually should cut the audio, for example, here. And then you just make the region reference to this section. Only if the materials are similar in all the flex markers, then it seems to be a lot more effective to use that technique. If not, it's a bit of a long and tedious process to manually just kind of put flex markers in. But yeah, I do it quite a lot because I just want the music to be neat and correct. So you have a bunch of choices and all of them are good and all of them will help you just remember to use whatever technique you want to use go manual and stick them in or quantize or follow the groove template and just check it and make sure everything sounds in time before you settled on the file and convert it to a new audio file <laughs>